The recent announcement of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition is absolutely awesome, it has me crazy excited about the game, but it seems to leave out one very important part about Mass Effect 3. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again give you another commentary talking about some more Mass Effect. I'm a huge fan of the Mass Effect series and super excited about it. And after reading about the recent announcement of the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, it has me crazy excited as well. But it seems to be that they left out one specific part of the game that personally I love about Mass Effect 3 that doesn't seem to be coming back. That section of the game I'm talking about is the multiplayer side of things. Yes, we do know that Mass Effect is known for its storytelling and campaign RPG element gameplay from one, two, and three. Fantastic, you know, once in a generation type of game. Absolutely awesome. In the recent blog post by Bioware over here stating the recent announcement, but the, this is the exact wording that they use saying the Mass Effect Legendary Edition will include single player based content and DLC from Mass Effect Mass Effect 2 and the Mass Effect 3 plus promo weapons, armors, and packs, all remastered and optimized for 4K Ultra HD. They didn't mention anything about the multiplayer when it comes to Mass Effect 3. And then, yeah, at the time Mass Effect 3 was created, it was kind of when EA was kind of forcing down multiplayer down pretty much every single game they could put out because they saw that player retention is higher with multiplayer games and potentially better sales as well. So when we first heard about multiplayer coming to Mass Effect 3, it was like, oh no, here's another shoe-in feature that's gonna be half-baked and it's gonna suck. But in reality, Mass Effect 3's multiplayer was pretty dang amazing. Personally, I sunk a ton of time into the multiplayer. It was such a fun wave-based kind of round kind of situation. Me as a fan of the Horde mode from Gears of War, and also Firefight from Halo, bringing this kind of style of game mode over to Mass Effect just seemed to work out really well. I've always wanted co-op within Mass Effect because of just the way the gameplay is set up. It works super well with this. A, it's already a cooperative single player game. Why not just add people instead of, you know, a NPCs and stuff like that? And they tried doing that with Mass Effect 3's multiplayer and honestly, I think they nailed it out of the park with it. I love the fact that it's like a class based kind of system with different kind of abilities and each character has their own kind of things that they can do, which is just a really cool thing. And the fact that they tied it into the campaign side of things as well with the Galactic Conquest. And if you go and jump into these multiplayer matches, it helps you on the single player to, for your galactic readiness. That's a really great integration to the whole process. Now, I do understand how a lot of people were against that at first, and it does make sense, but it's not necessary for you to get your galacticness ready up as high as possible to get the proper ending that you like in Mass Effect 3. Also, how different characters you could play as were better or worse against the type of enemies you're facing against. That's why later on in Mass Effect, when they added in the grouping of all the enemy types into one wave, was just a really, really fun addition, dude. Like, it was crazy fun. It was super challenging and super rewarding at the same time. You had to go in with a bunch of people with the same kind of, you know, synergy loadouts between the other teammates on your squad to hopefully kind of balance each other out to fight against proper kinds of enemies. It was seriously like a hidden gem within the Mass Effect franchise that I know a lot of people are very fond of it, me, myself included, and a few other members I know of as well. So it'd just be such a shame to not have it in the game. I mean, I also love the aspect of having to like unlock characters and then you kind of rank those characters up, unlocking new abilities, kind of ranking them up as you would like say, in the regular campaign side of things as well. So the ranking system was very familiar. It was simplistic, pretty straightforward, and it just made a lot of sense. And I love the customization options you had with the whole thing. Now, could it be that they just didn't want to mention anything about multiplayer because maybe they have bigger plans for it? That would be kind of crazy, right? What if they're able to figure out a way to have multiplayer throughout all of Mass Effect? That would be pretty crazy to think about. Because uh, it seems like the way they're approaching this whole thing as it's one package, it's one game as all together kind of thing, almost kind of like how like the Master Chief Collection is with Halo. Oh yes, you have each individual campaign and they've all been upgraded to either like better resolution or some of them with better graphics, but you go jump into the multiplayer and it's all one cohesive thing. You can jump in and play any type of multiplayer that you want within the Master Chief Collection. What if you could do the same with Mass Effect and maybe you bring in some enemies from Mass Effect 1, Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 throw them all together into just Mass Effect multiplayer. It's not just Mass Effect 3, but the entire package as a whole. 
Now that would be pretty freaking interesting, and I think also plays into the idea behind Mass Effect Legendary Edition. And there was actually a lot of content involved with the multiplayer, and it'd be so surprising to see them all thrown away. I mean, you had 19 maps, count 19 multiplayer maps for Mass Effect, and all of them pretty dang fun in their own ways as well. There are a lot of possibilities that the Bioware team could do with this Mass Effect remaster, uh, to me, like I said, it just seems like they're trying to go with a giant coalition of everything Mass Effect together and kind of bring it into one gigantic package. I mean, even look at the cover art that we've seen so far. It just looks like a Mass Effect game. It doesn't look like Mass Effect 1, 2, or 3. It just looks like Mass Effect for you to play and enjoy in today's standards of graphics. Perhaps as we move closer to that release date of spring 2021, they'll probably release some more information, some gameplay and things like that we could look forward to. If that does happen, I guarantee I'll let you guys know when anything awesome happens within the Mass Effect universe. Now we do know that the Bioware team is also very much focused on the next Mass Effect game that they did announce within this blog post as well. Do we know when that's going to come out? Probably not for a few years, as they do mention it's very early in the stages. And I uh, probably only expect to see probably the development probably start maybe in 2020, uh, maybe in 2019 at the early, early, early stages. Uh, but at least now, though, at least it's happening. I probably wouldn't expect a 2022 at the earliest release date when it comes to the new Mass Effect game. What would be one great way to keep Mass Effect fans excited moving forward and have a better retention for the series if you release Mass Effect Legendary Edition with the multiplayer? Bringing back the old maps, bringing back all the old characters, moving, bringing back the old ranking system and things like that, that would be absolutely fantastic. But there is one flaw, one major flaw with the multiplayer of Mass Effect 3, and that is the loot box progression unlocking system. But a lot of guys don't remember, this was like when loot boxes first started to become a thing within gaming. Uh, this is like the first game I think I remember ever seeing loot boxes. And at the time I was like, yeah, it's kind of grindy and I don't really like it, but it, it works, I guess. Um, it just really just randomizes all the unlocks and things like that. So it makes it just a super grind. That's one thing I really didn't like about the multiplayer. And I could not imagine asking players to grind as much as they did for Mass Effect 3's multiplayer in the Legendary Edition, given that we're still playing experiences that we already play just with better graphics. But what is one very popular way that they can go about bringing in this unlock progression system that was previously in loot boxes and still have some kind of progression system to maintain retention for players? I think you have to go with the season pass model that we all know and love and also kind of hate at the same time. And the big question is, would EA make that season pass something you'd have to pay for? I mean, we've seen it with the Master Chief Collection. They brought in the Season Pass model for progression to maintain player retention, which is, certainly has helped. It's kept my retention with the game as well. But knowing the EA and when they have an opportunity to get money out of people, they seem to like doing that. And getting people to pay for a Season Pass in a multiplayer game for a collection of games that at the youngest is eight years old. To me, that just seems not fair and i'd be very surprised if ea would be that consumer friendly when it comes to something like that so maybe that's why there's no multiplayer because they couldn't figure out a way to have the content in the game without ea trying to get them to monetize it ultimately we do not know we don't know if there is multiplayer they didn't mention anything about multiplayer but i really hope there's going to be multiplayer with mass effect legendary edition again guys as soon as any information drops i'll make sure to let you guys know on this channel as well so make sure you tap subscribe if you may say content for me check out the videos on the screen right over here i got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace out